Good morning everybody, Victor here in the Keys once again doing some bridge fishing. As promised, more land-based stuff. Check this out. We got some juicy, beautiful baits today. Chad, um, Chad's the bait plug. Look at the size of these shrimp that he got. Everybody knows that you don't want no little puny shrimp. You want little mini lobsters for bait, so. This was the real hot ticket last time I was in the Keys. That's what I caught the Kubera on, a bunch of yellow jacks. Little pinfish, we got a live well full of those. So I'm gonna walk you guys through the whole spread. I'm gonna have two rods out on the spinners and then two pinfish out on the big rods. That's what I caught the Kubera on last time, so let's get them out. We're gonna go ahead and deploy the pinfish. So we got our basic bottom rig, 50 pound tough line fluorocarbon leader, three or four oh mustad hook, and we're gonna hook this pinfish right here in the nose. This way he stays nice and lively. Okay, just like that. Now, there's these, the pilings right here. There's a kind of like an eddy in front of them of still water. So I like to put some baits right here, put them right here in front of the eddy and snapper grouper will hang out in front of this. So will the yellow jacks and permit, pretty much everything. And then we're gonna toss the shrimp under there. Another nice little pinfish. All right. And then a different bottom rig. This is a sliding bottom rig with a three ounce egg, but same principle. Just keep your bait pinned to the bottom right in front of these um, filings. You get you a nice succulent shrimp. Like, look at that thing. Come on. Tell me that doesn't get you excited. Long leader, two ounce egg weight, 40 pound tough line fluorocarbon. And we're gonna hook this guy right here in the tail. Okay, just like that. You can barely see the hook in there. Okay, now the whole trick with this is to be able to swing it underneath the driving bridge as far in there as possible, in that shadow line. That'll do for now, but Ideally, you want it as far back there as possible. Chad's rule of thumb is if he can see his weight and his bait hit the bottom, he recasts. So, we got the spread out. Took you guys through it, and you might be wondering, Vic, you're one guy, why are you fishing four rods? Well, right now, we are at the end of an incoming tide. These fish bite best on the slack tide at the end of a tide or a, a tide switch, when the water's not moving as much. When the water's really rushing, fish tend to go out deeper, they get kind of lethargic, they're not in a feeding mood. Some fish, not all species. When the tide slows down, fish tend to move around, they're on the hunt for food, they reorient themselves to feed on a different tide. When that happens, generally not all four rods will go off at once, but you wanna be playing musical rods and going from rod to rod because you might miss one, you might miss two, you might, you might pull a hook, a fish might get shark, so you gotta maximize your opportunities, even with one guy. The, oh, see, we're already on right there. Tighten up the drag. That was on a shrimp. Ah, oh, I think we missed it. Something dropped it. Something definitely picked this shrimp up. It looked like it swallowed whole, because look, that shrimp is still alive. There's no little nibble marks, so whatever fish ate that probably felt the weight or the rig. So toss it right back under. As I was saying, you want to capitalize on the tide, right? That one hour golden window, that two hour golden window, I wanna have as many rods in the water as possible. As long as your drag's loose, Chad and Sam are down there too. Someone's gonna to pick up the rod, nothing's gonna happen. It's not gonna go in the water. Well, guess I wasn't recording, but this is the very first fish of the day on a uh, little pinfish. Got ourselves like a 13, 14 inch mangrove snapper. Even a small snapper like this will devour a pinfish. And the thing I really like about the pinfish is they're hardy. You don't get a lot of trash fish picking at them. When I say trash fish, I mean just a bunch of little fish picking at them, but very similar to Kubera snapper. Just doesn't have that, um, that real blunt mouth and their teeth do not get as big as a Kubera's, but uh, in the cooler he goes. Hey, Victor, you're, 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 you
There's a whole school over there. Oh, Yellow Jacks right there? Oh, he's still, one is peeling off. Were they coming up top and eating it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We tripled up over here. You guys see all those Yellow Jacks? That's Sam's fish, and the whole school of Yellow Jacks is kind of just investigating. There it is. There it is. There's the Yellow Jack. Fight too. Yeah, man, they, they great fighters, great. Oh, there's the oh, whole school. There's the whole school. You ready, Chad? Yep. Double up. Yeah, let's do it. Woo! All right, I got mine in. As soon as you start bringing yours in, mine is gonna get smoked. We got some yellow jacks. Flip or die. Yeah. All my peer boys, flip or die. You guys know what that's about. We got Sam hooked up. All right, so check it out. Beautiful yellow jack. Come on. Good fish, good fish. Kubera, Kubera, or Grouper. Kubera, Kubera! Oh, bro, grouper! Nice grouper. Yeah, oh, Chad! Nice. Yeah, yeah, Chad, that might make it! Yeah, he will. Oh, we got that current. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, ready? Ready? Yep. Here we go. Yeah! Oh, baby! It's <laughs> in, it's in! Woo! Man, he back backlashed it. He was just sitting there with it. <laughs> Yeah! Please tell me I'm recording, and we're recording. Woo! You know that was gonna make it, baby. Look at that. Grouper from the bridge. Yes. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that deserves a yeah, buddy, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Stoked. <laughs> Man, it was getting a little slow there, too. Sure was, there was a lot of the uh, Woo! We gotta measure him. I think he'll be like 25 and a quarter. I think so. 25. That's that's awesome, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> Woo, that's what I told him to come down here for. For some grouper, baby. That's that slack tide. Yeah. It, it's pretty much slack, just turning to outgoing, but we're gonna measure this fish real quick just to make sure it's illegal. And look where he's hooked. Woo! Mustad, Boom. baby. Came right out. Wow, perfect. Okay, so we'll start there one more time. Fish, stay still. Over. Boom. Boom. Both both yeah, fins. It, it goes. It goes. Yep. You did say the water's getting cooler. Yep. We got those right. northeast winds. And this is the first day I think that the water hit 80 degrees exactly. It's been like 82, 81 and a half. As soon as it hit 80 degrees, we beeline here and Victor got him a keeper grouper, baby. Yeah, buddy. I've never caught a keeper land based grouper. Caught him offshore, never from the bridge, which is such a rewarding feeling, you know? You know, a lot of people don't know about it, and the fact that you can catch really good quality fish, both muttons, hogfish, snapper, grouper, all of it. Permit everything land based, baby. These black grouper, they come in from offshore, and you're gonna see them um, more and more as you get in, into winter. They spawn inshore in shallow water, so the bridges are gonna start to get loaded up, but. Uh, couldn't ask for a better start to the morning. Check it out. How pretty is that? Not even 8.30 yet. That tide switch. That tide switch. We got another one. Look how beautiful that fish is. Whew. Absolutely beautiful. He has some little freaking larva or something on top yeah, of his yeah, head. Yeah, like a little parasite or something, doesn't he? Yep. But we're hey, like they're, they're biting. Yep. I got a young subscriber here. What's your name, buddy? Ishan, and what's your favorite fish? Snapper. Snapper. So we're gonna try to see if we can get Ishan on some snapper, but um, when I came to the Keys this morning, I brought some bull shark in the bag, not only for Chad and Sam, but in case I met anyone. So they're going home and they get to try some bull shark. So Woo. let's stake it up for them. What do you guys think? Awesome. 
can't wait to try it. So. Yeah. First time. Not many people can say they've tried bull shark. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you excited, little man? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Too cute. Believe it or not, out of that big bull shark, this is the only bag I have left. I actually just gave some bull shark over in the parking lot. I met some subscribers there too, but look at this. So I just rinsed it off in some good fresh salt water. Here we go. Here we go. Thank you. What do you say? What do you say? No Thank problem. You so much. Thank you. Thank you for watching. I mean, look at the size of these shrimp. It's like a little baby lobster. There we go. Come on, this way, baby. Uh oh. We're already on the piling. We're already on the piling. Come on, get away from that piling. This was on a big jumbo shrimp. Big jumbo shrimp. Come on. This way. This way. It's hugging bottom. Really hugging bottom. Kubera! Kubera! Or big mangrove. One of the two. Big mangrove, big mangrove. Wow. That was on a colossal shrimp. Ubera, Odo, no, mangrove. no, big mangrove, big mangrove. Yes! Yeah, baby! Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's what I told you to come in, baby! Big as hell! Oh! Big as hell! Yes! And we were recording. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, brother. I just had a, caught a yellow jack. This dude just got a monster mane. Hey, what do you think about him? <laughs> what are you are you in shock? <laughs> what is that? Big mangrove. Big mangrove. I thought it was a Kubera big when I first mangrove. saw it. That's awesome, man. I haven't seen this Heck big yeah. mangrove at all. Wow. Yes! Like Here, give him a pet. <laughs> it's alright. Yeah, yeah buddy. It. Get a little slimy. Yeah, he loves. He don't care. <laughs> yeah, I love it. The biggest I one I've seen probably is like 1822 at Dr. Douglas. Um, do you know what I caught? What did you catch? One that's huge. Even bigger than this? Yeah. Wow. And um, but on a bi on a big on a small boat on a small boat. That makes it special. It was on a small boat. There we go. Stay on, baby. Stay on. There we go. Be a yellow jack. Chad's got one on down there. And the whole trick is, though, you gotta fight them underneath the rail. And try to record at the same time. A mutton! Nice, look at that! Mutton! No, not a keeper, but still. Oh, 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 get it. Yep. It's it's getting hit. Well, it's my first mutton in a long time. Four more. <laughs> All the rods are going off down there? Yeah. All right. There is nothing that can substitute putting in the time. Nope. That's the only thing that's gonna make you better. I am not better than anyone here. I just have put in the time and I've been lucky a lot of times too. And you yeah. see Victor, he's putting in the work and now he's in the meat. So stay tuned. We're, we're not done yet. You don't become an Olympic you don't become an Olympic athlete by watching sports. You gotta play them. It's the same thing with fishing, right? Wow, this is insane, man. I came down, I was down by my platform. Chad's taking a picture, and I'm over here on this platform and I'm already getting bit. There's a yellow jack right there. Oh, there he is, there he is. Unreal, man. It's instant. It's instant over here. Woo, another yellow jack. I don't know what it is about this platform, but they love it. Another yellow jack. Crazy, man.
took two seconds. Here I am thinking I'm the world's biggest Guggen. I'm literally at that platform. Can I get a bite to save my life? Besides the mangrove and the, and the grouper, but this platform is Yellowjack City, I tell you what. It was 15 seconds, guys. 15 seconds to get hit right here. Oh, it's on, it's on, it's on, Jack. <laughs> that was almost 15 now. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Look at that. Already, man. It's the Yellow Jack Highway or something. Woo -hoo -hoo! Such good fighters too, especially in that current. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Wonder if that's a, a yellow or a... Another one. I think I should flip this one now. That's a big one. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. That's some sad one. Check that out. No prettier. Unbelievable. Ready? Yeah! <laughs> Might as well. I mean, look at that's like the colors of the keys right there yellow, turquoise, green, blue. So cool. So Alright, guys, that is the end of the day. Check this out. Grove snapper. Black grouper. Another mangrove. That one's little. And then of course the yellow jack slaughterhouse right here. Yep. You ready for this? Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Oh my goodness. With a token. Keep our yellowtail. Well, we got two now. One. <laughs> and how many did you give away already? I think I gave away, I, got, I gave away four, three, seven, and then I, I released three or four, and you guys saw Victor release one. It's just been madness. Insane. <laughs> Absolutely insane. So like I said before, guys, subscribe to his channel, Chad Gone Fishing. I'll have a link below. Killer time, my man. Absolutely. We're going to do this again. And I'm glad that you were finally able to get that black. And then the mangrove was just a cherry on the top. Right? <laughs> and I got my Kubera, mangrove, and black. I just oh, need yeah. to keep her mind next time. That's right. <laughs>